A Dow State Deputy Governor and Right Honorable Comrade Philip Shaibu on Tuesday, 25th April 2023, Dow inaugurated 12 member organizing committee for the successful hosting of a Dow State Secondary School Games as planned to develop sports strategy Dow Day on ground for state government to grow grassroots sports. The state government don't first set up interagency committee, make them take touch lights and know how them go take out sports joint curriculum of primary and secondary schools for the state. And the state government don't already approve the report when the committee is sent to run since. For the inauguration, Shaibu Kontok say research don't show say without competitions, athletes no go fit to achieve their desire or improve their standards. And this one now make the state government bring this kind of Muge program. We go be a those state secondary school game as way to promote, create platform and display their sporting skills. Shaibu Konsti talks that the state government gets so much emphasis for grassroots sport development and now he make His Excellency Mr. Governor give the Sports Commission target to discovering 10,000 athletes for the next five years and that one will make and be at least 2,000 athletes for one year. Today we go to the tournament with no hope of winning any Today, small gaming itself will come to Nigeria and defeat us in football. Struggling to go back there to defeat them. That is the level of sports and has reached in this country. Today, we now have our sons and daughters that are born abroad are the ones that now represent the country in sports tournament. So, what happened to our indigenous? boys and girls, what happened to grassroots develop, uh, sport development. So this is the country we have found ourselves now, where the likes of Lukman will be paying for the first time in Nigerian soil in a very crucial World Cup Finals, because they say our local players cannot meet up to that challenge. That is the country we have found ourselves now. And for us in Edo State, we have made it a point of duty not to manage, but to create, to recreate the engine room of sports in Nigeria. Because we have also discovered that we also contributed to where we are today in the country because Edo State went to sleep for more than two to three decades. They've not been producing athletes that will represent our country. So when you check when Nigeria was Nigeria, winning Lawrence, check the number of people that were representing this country that are doing this. Today we can pride ourselves that the only Olympic uh, uh, record holder for triple championship and is unfortunately the chairman of this committee today. And since then, nobody has set new records because we have not been able to 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 bring up the Yusuf Ali of, of those days again since after Edo has produced Yusuf Ali. So now the governor has charged us that we must produce more Yusuf Ali that we not only set record but break records. Uh, and that is the only way we can redefine and we can go to tournament, both national and international, without using calculators to check when Brazil loses or Germany draw, Nigeria will qualify. And that is what we have tried to do. And also we discovered that sports and education should be married together. In the past, it was just talent, it was just talent driven. People don't have talent for different sports and they just go in and they are, somebody discovered them and they bring them. Most of them could not combine education with their talent, sport talent. And a lot of them are languishing, a lot of them are on the streets, a lot of them are suffering because they didn't have education and they didn't have a second uh, office to fall back on. And sport, as you all know, has age uh, limits. There are certain age you get to and you have to retire. And because the bones and the muscles get to a level where you have to relax them and they can no longer carry the body, even when the body the soul is willing. So that the administration of God in Obaseki have decided to turn sports to its native land so that 
those issues associated with backwardness as far as sport is concerned in Nigeria now is reaching off. And fortunately for us, we started with the, the design, rebuilding of Samuelumura Stadium, and doing what government own duties are, that is providing an environment and providing facility. We can boast today to say that a new state government under this leadership has invested a lot in physical infrastructure. And this physical infrastructure are second to none. They are the best as far as this country is concerned now. We can boast to say that the only VR inbuilt facility stadium in Nigeria and even in West Africa today is the Southern Obobodea Stadium. Um, and we can also boast to say that the only chattel track in Nigeria presently, and let me not limit you to Nigeria, Nigeria presently is the chattel track in Samuel Obumura Stadium, which is the same chattel track that was used in the last uh, Olympics. And this is the kind of facility we we'll put in place. We are not allowing people to use those facilities for rallies and crusade because we invited the makers of these uh, uh, products to come themselves, not only to install, but to give warranty to this facility. And the Tatan Track in San Juan Stadium has its uh, warranty, and it has its rules and regulations that must be followed to secure the warranties that these facilities are uh, uh, Cover these facilities uh, uh, assigned. So, for this facility now, now we need to put lives into these facilities. Uh, people have said, can uh, a do state government maintain this facility? Everybody that came that is coming there always call to find out how are we going to maintain this facility. And we were clear because this government will not start a project that it doesn't see. In the end, we are clear that the only way you can maintain a facility is when you inject life into that facility. And the life we are injecting into the facility is started with merging games, sports with education. It's enhanced our mental stability and physical well being, and at the same time, exhibiting the skills that and talent God has given to us. Shaibu Kontok said the secondary school games now one good in opportunity for the sports commission to meet up with the target and even surpass them, and say in they expect the state sports commission to do collabor with the Ministry of Education, local government sports committee, so that they go fit carry sports for a do rich where it's supposed to day. A constant say sports they contribute to all round development of a person, and that now why a do state government they committed to providing holistic education where go transform the student capacity and contribute to social economic development for our state. We must achieve the target that the governor of Edo State has given to us to develop sports, merging and making sure education is in front front to be able to give second. Uh, uh, to provide second office and provide broader perspective for us, teaming young sports girls and boys, we must all put our hands on deck. We must all be united in dealing with it. I must take it very, very seriously because the economy of Edo State will not be complete without sports. The economy of UK and some other countries today are mainly the GDP, uh, uh, sport contribute greatly to their GDP. And if we must achieve this in the country, we must diversify from all and, and be able to enjoy God-given uh, natural and human capital that they have given to us. So today we are going to go ahead to inaugurate this committee. And I, I pray that the target that we are given by the state government and by the government of the new state in five years to be able to produce 10,000 athletes is achieved. And I want to say that for us as a state, we are clear, we are clear of what we want to achieve. And no, nobody can actually
understand the, 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 the progress that we have achieved with the reverse care. We are consistent in what we want to achieve, and by the grace of God, definitely, definitely, we will get there. We are doing well now uh, in, in sports. We are now producing athletes that are presenting other states. The, for the last three editions of National Sport Festival, Edo indigents have top medalists. Some of them representing Edo state, some of them representing other states. And we have said, Edo state will continue to produce athletes for lazy states that are not able to grow their sports. We are very available. We will become the tourist destination. When our athletes are available to run and represent other states and even represent other countries, if they want, ours is we will not only use them to achieve the goal of sports in Edo, we will also produce them because we want to become factory for producing these athletes. We will produce them for other states. We do respect to other states. We will produce them to lazy states that are not able to do what we are doing today. And already is already in the dividends from the last three editions of uh, Sport Festival where we have to see Edo indigents competing at the finals, Edo indigent winning gold for Edo, winning silver for other states, winning bronze for other states. In some occasions, Edo indigent winning gold medals for other states and winning silver medal for us. But that is the stage we want to get to where we will repeat what has happened in the past, where in 1985, under uh, 16, uh, Kodak 85, where more than 60% of the players that won Kodak Cup were from Edo, including the coach. And that is where we are going back to. And the starting point is uh, what we are doing today. Interestingly, we are happy that in Edo State today, every Wednesday, at least, our uh, both the primary and secondary school are, are dedicated two hours of sports uh, in, in our curriculum and also is part of their continuous assessment. And very recently, we, we considered a team to, in the process of inaugurating the local government committees in line with the law establishing the Industry Sports Commission. So we are actually in for, uh, for a revamp of our sporting architecture and sporting activity in a new state, which we actually ignite the, the rebound, uh, rebound of, uh, of uh, winning glories in, uh, from uh, the national, because a do will be available to produce this new athlete. And the sad thing about this, why we must take it seriously, is that even the other 23 football tournaments that we have just qualified to play in the World Cup. I'm hearing now that only foreign players that will be representing Nigeria. So, so you see why these things are very serious. We, we have to take it seriously because the likes of Okocha, Finney the judge, we have discovered here. The lack of cashes, we are so recent, is we have discovered here. I don't see how Mexico, Mexico, Ozogula, all of them were discovered. Yeah. Austin Fuku, all of them were discovered here. Yusuf Ali, all of them were discovered here. They were not discovered from abroad. So this is where we are going, and by the grace of God, we will be uh, uh, getting this done. The Chemo and Permanent Secretary of the State Commission, Yusuf Ali and Sabina Chikere, we talk on behalf of the committee, can talk say the development now good one, and then they work towards the successful grassroots sports development for Edo State. About two decades ago, where most of Nigerian athletes or sportsmen come from Edo State, survey that we did years back said 75% of Nigerian sportsmen actually reside or train from Edo State. It is true that Edo State went to sleep, and I'm also glad that we are back, and we are not taking sports as this service in Edo, because uh, taking sports to the right place, which is the grassroots, and that is the secondary school. Your Excellency, the governor, on, in, on the day of an uh, inauguration, he said he wants to see 10,000 at least in five years. 
that would translate to 2,000 per year. And I can tell you, sir, that cricket alone, in the last one year, we have produced over 1,200 athletes. <laughs> and not only that we have produced, we are training. We have tennis, we have athletics, and uh, what we are trying to do is, by the time we are giving our year, the year scorecard, we have everything documented with the database of every single uh, sportsman in this country. Ogwemudia Complex, I think, to us, is one of the best in the world. But, for one reason or the other, we are not singing our song. We are not showcasing what that complex means or what it stands for. We are the only state in this country that have a waveless pool. The pool at Ogwemudia Stadium is a waveless pool. During the last festival, okay, the one we hosted, it was adjourned as the best festival in this country. The time recorded during the swimming, you cannot compare it because the swimming pool is waveless. You come to the track, sir, you mentioned it, the certain track. That was the same track used at the last Olympic Games. It's that good. You look at the VIP area, sir. We talked about it about two days ago that we have the best VIP in this country. People, they come, they copy, they, they even call us to help them, but you cannot compare what we have at Ugomida Stadium. Sir, if you permit me, sir, we need to have a small committee to do a documentary of Ugomida Complex. Let us tell it to the world. The Commission of Education came there last week she said in her own word that she's so amazed that she doesn't believe this, this complex is in Edo State. The Minister of Youth and Sports was here during the last Commonwealth trials. Toby Amuson, the world record holder, we all know, she came here, trained here, ran here. When she left here, she went to Oregon. The same trial, she set a world record. Meaning there's something good in Edo State. But we must sing our song. We must blow it. I want to stand, ask, and to thank His Excellency for giving us this opportunity to serve the state. Uh, there's lots of responsibility now saddled on our hands, and we promise you and the Governor of the state and the good people of Edo State that we'll live up to the expectation of what is expected of us, and we will give a befitting um, secondary school sports festival this year. So on behalf of the committee, we say thank you for giving us this responsibility and we hope to carry out this responsibility to the fullest by the special grace of God. Yusuf Ali Constitok said the commission don't complete all modalities for the inauguration of the new committee, for the inauguration of the new sports committee, and see on Thursday... And see, on Thursday this week, the association will take responsibility to run various sports for the to run various sports for Edo State. Education and sports goes hand in hand. If you look at other countries, they are now injecting uh, uh, entertainment. I think for us, uh, for us, for you to do well in sports, you must go to the down down grade, which is the school level. That age of ten, even some countries go as, as down as six, seven, eight years old. But here, if you start with ten, eleven years old, then you can now ability to now put inject the right training, the right thing for them. And and also you can do your sports and go to school. By the time you have finished your sporting career, you have your education to back it up. And that's what the, the, the demand just said now, that's what we are lacking. We have a lot of uh, sportsmen that finish their career but there's nothing to go for back to to start working. But if we take school I mean take sports to education, then where you are studying you are, you are also pursuing your, your sporting career. We call them student athletes. You are a student first before an athlete. I think it will go well. Mention names like Aduke Amezi Kamaemeka. He's a fantastic lawyer. He played for Nigeria. Keshi turned to a coach. I think that's what we want to do. Rather than just taking sports only, then that will not, that will not spread to the grassroots. But taking it to, to, to the grassroots, which is the education. And I think we will do justice to it. Unago remember say December 2021, Obaseke approved the dissolution of 36 Sport Association to reorganize the sports sector for the state. And the state governor, Gordon Obaseke, go on Thursday, April 27, 2023, constitute committees for smooth operation for various sports associations for the state. From Benin City, Ekata Ojaisele, TMC TV News.